Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, wow. <laughs> Welcome to your April tarot forecast. You just had a really important eclipse in your sign, which is helping you let go of any outdated ways of being, behaviors, ideas, people's projects. And I feel like there's this overall energy right now. You could be feeling a little bit confused or frustrated with um, why everything feels so overwhelming, but it's not a surprise for me because you just had a huge eclipse in your sign. And this eclipse is really showing you how you don't wanna continue doing what you've been doing up until now. You wanna change yourself moving forward. And I think you should take that opportunity however you can. So if it's showing up with, maybe there's a person leaving your life, let them go. Maybe it's a job that you just feel disconnected from then trust that, accept that, and let go of that job. Don't continue investing your time, your energy, your money into things, projects, people that you don't believe in. If you don't wanna support them, don't support them and don't feel bad about it. I feel like a lot of you, the struggle for you through April, and I'm really hearing until June, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of struggle with you needing to just trust yourself and to trust what you're feeling and to honor yourself and to prioritize yourself. And that means when you feel this energetic disconnect from a person or a project or a behavior, maybe it's your own outdated behavior or habits. Maybe you're just still kind of going back into these comfortable cycles. Keep in mind, we have Mercury retrograding in the sign of Aries, and that is opposite of your sign. So there's gonna be a lot of tension, there's gonna be a lot of friction, there's gonna be a lot of awareness and new information showing up, showing you that you maybe continue to prioritize other people and not really prioritize yourself. Maybe you uh, water down yourself to make other people comfortable, but really you wanna stand up and say something. and like. Now you're understanding on a different level that you have the power to create the life that you want, but that power is lost when you prioritize other people or when you don't stand in your power and make decisions for yourself. And instead you let other people force you into making a decision for them that supports them or it supports their project, but you don't really believe in their project. So it's like, you wanna make sure that whatever you're doing from here forward, this is just for like the rest of your life. Um, you wanna make sure that you are doing something that feels fully aligned with who you are becoming and the life that you wanna live. That means that you're not saying yes when you wanna say no. That means that you're not accepting bullshit offers when you know you deserve more. So you really need to um, review and reflect on all of the connections in your life and how you're showing up how you invest and what you contribute to those relationships. It can be romantic relationships for sure because I'm feeling like there's a little bit of a discrepancy in some of your romantic relationships or maybe it's um, a business thing or a finance thing, but there's, it could be all three of them for a lot of you and it probably is, but there's this overall energy of like, you can't continue to like carry the ship. You can't continue to carry the relationship. You can't continue to do everything for the other person and like lie to yourself about certain situations. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's family, but it's like, you know that something feels out of balance. And it's like, the longer that you continue to ignore it, the louder it will get over time. And the more like extreme the feelings will get, and it's gonna continue to just kind of like eat you alive until you make a decision to change something about this or to just establish a new boundary or to sit down and have a conversation about how you can both work together for making a change, which is possible. I'm not saying you have to like get rid of these relationships, get rid of all of these people in your life. But for a lot of you, it's like you deserve more and you know you deserve more. And subconsciously you really want more, but you feel bad about leaving or you feel like, how is this you know, connection, person, project gonna run without me. So then you feel trapped or whatever. So you really just need to acknowledge and to sit down and have a conversation because like there's always a solution. Um, and with this 
full moon eclipse that just happened in your sign. I hope you watched the eclipse workshop. If you've never done one of my workshops, it's like 25 minutes. It's pay what you can. You can donate $1, I don't care. But you have to watch that eclipse workshop because that eclipse was in the sign of Libra, your sign. So it's like, this is about you recognizing that you are like outgrowing some of your connections. You are ready for the next level. You are ready for a promotion or a new relationship or um, a new way of creating your reality. Maybe you want to establish something new or try something new, learn something new. But like there are some people who they just, they can't keep up with you. And like you are a cardinal energy. I also have a four of wands here, the empress and the ace of swords. So it's like, there's something inside of you that is really understanding your value, your worth, and your skill set, and how much potential you have. And I think when you get that clarity about yourself, it's really easy to start seeing other people and their value. And I don't mean that like other people don't have value. Like that's not what I'm saying, but like you are very clearly in a different category. Um, than some of the people in your life. And you need to start working with, connecting with, finding friends that are in that category. You need to find lovers in that category. You need to find other companions, collaborators in that category. And you can't continue to lie to yourself about like, oh, well, I want these things, but I feel bad, so I'm gonna stay. Or like, maybe I don't really want these things, or maybe you're just scared of like finally taking a chance on yourself and trying something new. Like, especially if you have a strong Libra placement in your chart, like you and me, I have a Libra rising. It's like, we oftentimes stay in relationships, maybe it's work, friends, family, love, whatever, but we stay in these relationships because we just feel like, ugh, I just invested so much into this or I fully committed and I wouldn't want another person to give up on me, but then you really continue to like give up on yourself and to not really prioritize your own um, potential level of expansion and opportunities. You sacrifice those things because you feel bad about leaving a situation or something. So it's like, there's an overall energy here of like, you know that you on one level are ready and willing to leave and walk away, but there's this other thing that is keeping you stuck. So first of all, I would suggest watching my cord cutting workshop. If you are already deciding to leave a situation, but you're still struggling to cut it out of your life and to clear it, I have a cord cutting workshop for that. It'll support you in clearing out that energy. And after the eclipse that we just had in your sign, this is the perfect time for you to be doing that because this time is all about cleaning up. We also have Mercury retrograding in the sign of Aries. As I already said, that is opposite of your sign. So it's like that is going to feel like a lot of tension, frustration, understanding that who you are now becoming, the new identity that is emerging, it requires a new version of yourself to show up. And that means that you can't carry all of these other people. You can't bring all of these old outdated habits and behaviors into this next chapter because they are actually impeding on your experience they're impeding on your relationship and your expansion and i feel like you know like it's a little bit tempting maybe it's like great sex maybe it's just like but we have so much fun it's like that's beautiful like we've all had a relationship or we've all been in a job that that we liked but it it wasn't perfect and i'm not saying that you will find the perfect person because you won't it doesn't exist like Perfect is not real, but there are people that are perfect for a specific time, okay? And I feel like the time that you are now moving into, you need new collaborators, you need new staff, you need new lovers and friends and connections in your life that reflect this new level of your expansion. And they, these new people, will be perfect for that next chapter. If you are trying to go into a new chapter with people that were perfect in the last chapter, there's this discrepancy, like the vibration doesn't match. So you are still, even if you are expanding, that's beautiful. And yes, opportunities will still come for you, but 
you won't be able to grasp the full opportunity because you are not giving yourself the opportunity to stand in the new vibration fully. You are half assing it. You are scared, you are nervous or whatever. You are like sacrificing part of the new to hold on to the old. So this can show up in old behaviors, ideas, self-limiting beliefs or um, actions and habits. But more importantly, especially after the past eclipse that we just had in your sign, that was a huge focus on literal relationships. So what people from your past that were perfect in the past for that chapter, are you trying to drag into this next chapter? And how are you sacrificing parts of your potential by holding on to these old people who won't, they won't let you hit your next potential because they are in a different vibration and it's actually interfering, if that makes sense. So if you're sitting here watching this being like, oh my God, I feel this, holy shit. Then A, leave me a comment, okay? B, go watch the Eclipse workshop because it's a Libra Eclipse, huge energy. And I would also suggest doing the cord cutting because you really need that right now. I promise I will help you clean up your energy, okay? Also, I literally show up every month for these free readings. Please just share this on your Instagram story. You can support me really easy by hitting the like button, leaving a comment. Like, I'm a creator, it's really helpful. I hate to ask, but I still show up every month for you, so please support me back, okay? I love you, Libra. You will continue to succeed, but this year is gonna be a little bit challenging because you're being asked to let go and clear more than you're being asked to like, accept all of these new things and to expand and expand. And yes, opportunities will come, but right now it's more important that you are using your discernment to figure out what are all the things holding you back and keeping you stuck so that you can clear those. And then like after January, 2025, the level of expansion that is available for you is crazy, but right now you are preparing for that, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of other good things coming this year for you also, so don't think that like nothing good is happening, that's not what I'm saying, but like this year with the south node in your sign, you should watch the nodes workshop also actually because the south node is in your sign. It's like, this is an opportunity for you to really clean up so you have more available space for all of the expansion that will be happening after January 2025, I promise, okay? So go watch the Eclipse Workshop. Leave me a comment. Share this on your Instagram story. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Ciao.